Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Isa and in my previous video I taught you how to create these digital stickers all from scratch using the app Procreate and today I will teach you how to create a sticker sheet that you can add your stickers to in a note-taking app such as GoodNotes that then you can export and share with other people. So I'm going to open my app Procreate and this time I will click on my plus sign to create a new file and I just want a screen size because that will be landscape since that's the orientation that my iPad is on right now and that's the orientation that I use for my planners so I prefer my sticker sheets to be landscape so I'm just gonna tap there so I'm just gonna change the background to a gray color and to do that you tap on your layers menu here these two squares on the top right and then where it says background color you tap there and then you can choose any color that you want I'll go for like a light gray color and this is in case I have any white stickers I will be able to still see them on my gray background instead of having a white background then I wouldn't be able to tell them apart then another thing I will do and this is just for fun just to give it a little bit of texture have the same color selected, so tap and hold on the screen to make sure you have that exact same background color selected. And then I will just darken the color a tiny bit, so tap on the color menu there, and then just drag this ball down towards the black so that it's a little darker. Okay, and then go to my brush menu, and I found this Pandani brush on the inking section, which I liked. And I'm just going to make sure my opacity is not all the way up. It's kind of like on a 50, no, 65%. And I'm just going to draw some lines here just to give it a little bit of texture. This is completely optional. Also, if you had like a polka dot pattern or some line pattern that you want to put in the background just to make your sheet look a little prettier, you can do that here as well. The following thing I'm going to do is add my logo and I have previously saved my logo to my photos app with a transparent background so you can do the same and to add it I'm going to go to this icon and then where it says insert a photo I'm just going to look for my logo in my photos right here I have it and I'm just going to zoom out a little bit I'm going to make this smaller make sure you have the uniform option selected here so that you won't deform the image make it a little bit smaller and then just drag it to whatever you wanted I like them at the bottom corner here with some space because we will add a drop shadow you'll see in a second so deselect go to my layers duplicate that layer logo so drag this layer to the left duplicate now I will use two of my fingers to drag the layer to the right that will turn on alpha lock you can also tap on the layer and manually turn it on by tapping here and now I will go to my brush select something big from my airbrushing here the hard blend could work and then just go for a completely black color and then color over this logo since you have the alpha lock selected you are only coloring the logo and nothing else other than that and now I will go to my layers bring this layer under the other logo layer so now you can't see it now I have to turn off the alpha lock from this black logo layer so tap there remove alpha lock or just drag your fingers to the right again and now I will go to this second icon here at the top left where it says adjustments choose Gaussian blur layer and all you do is drag your pencil to the right and as you can see there's a shadow that will start appearing behind your logo and that's actually the other black logo layer getting like fuzzy so you just choose something not so big it's up to you I'll go around there because what I'll do now is click on my arrow here and I'll move that second shadow layer to like wherever I'm, I want my shadow to go so it can be down to the right, it can be up, you know, you select, it can be farther, it can be closer I like just a little bit out like this and once you're happy with it you can go and merge these two layers so now your logo image will have the shadow built in and you can reposition it if necessary there the next thing I'm going to do is export this as a sheet that I will be able to import into my note-taking app and start adding my stickers. So go to this icon again, click on share, and you can save either as JPEG or PNG. I just always use PNG, I'm used to it. So click one of those and then save image. Cool. Now we will go to open GoodNotes and I'll get out of this current document that I had open. I'm going to click on new image 
select the last image which is this sheet that I just created and all you have to do now is start adding the stickers that we created in my previous video so I'm gonna bring my photos app just to show you go to split screen view here so just drag it to the side and here are my stickers and this could be any other image it can be photos or it can also be a sticker bag that you bought for yourself and you just want to arrange the stickers in good notes so you just pull each of the stickers tap and drag until you have them all on the screen okay i like having all of the stickers be of the same size for example these male stickers you know it's the same sticker so i want them to be the same size so i will just use my lasso to resize them make sure they look uniform and then i can select them all and make them a little bit smaller and now i can use my image tool to just tap on a sticker and reposition it where i want it then i keep going for the following sticker type which is my mugs select them with my lasso make them smaller then grab my image tool here and i can start spreading them out on the page i'm gonna make my mail envelopes a little bit bigger and you can keep adjusting resizing once you have them spread out and be the size that you want it's easier to arrange them lastly i'll bring in all of my cell phone stickers and again we created all of these designs in my previous video so make sure to check that out if you'd like to see how we did it and i will just resize these cell phones around there and use my image tool to start arranging them where i want them i think this one's smaller let me grow it a little bit and this is how i create and organize my own digital sticker sets now guys i will upload this set as a freebie to the facebook group so if you want to download make sure you join i'm gonna leave the link below and make sure you answer the question so you can be accepted and you will be able to just find the info on how to get this set if you want it but also again you can create it yourself using procreate watching my previous video now from here of course if you want to share this sheet so that other people can use it or if you are going to sell it somewhere you need to upload it then what you do is you, you tap on this share icon here on the top left and then you go to where it says export either this page or all because you only have one page so either way works so export this page and then here you of course want these stickers to be able to be used in GoodNotes again as single images so you click on GoodNotes export and then this is where you would choose where you will send this if you want it to be saved somewhere safe then you can just go save to files that's what i do you can create a new folder that says i guess it can be stickers okay done and then click on save and this page will be saved to that particular folder and this is how you create a ready to go GoodNotes sticker file. Okay guys, so that's it for today's video. I hope that you found it helpful and that you learned something new. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up to let me know. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done it yet and click on the bell so you know when the new video is out. If you have any questions or something is not clear or if you have any request of what you'd like to see next in my channel, please drop me a comment below. Thank you guys and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.